Good morning everyone. This is Sajan with you for Doc Training Web Series. Today I'll be explaining on how to configure user alerts in Microsoft SharePoint 2016. Uh, well, SharePoint Alerts is one of the greatest features available on all SharePoint versions from 2007 to 2016 and it's a great built-in mechanism for SharePoint that allows us users for sending out notifications or emails to users and group of users based on the changes to documents, list items, document libraries, folder lists and search items. Now SharePoint 2016 alert can be delivered to one of the two methods. One is like send as an email or you can also send and to your phone as a short message. That's an SMS service that has to be configured basically. And there are many business scenarios where SharePoint 2016 alert is very useful. Alerts can be helpful to ease and accelerate the business processes by sending notifications to users for any changes. Alerts eases the team collaboration on a particular document. A group of users can be notified easily for newly added document, the document library. Alerts can be created for calendar list items and notifications that can be sent to the users when a new event has been added or even modified one. And with the help of alerts, users can be notified on deletion of any documents from the document library so it helps to monitor activities. This is a default SharePoint uh, site as uh, obviously it's the 2016 environment. Um, as you see here, if you click on list, you can see a feature called alert me. Now by default alert me, but it's not available to set alerts for any list or document library. So probably if you don't have that kind of an option, you will have to configure your email and text message section of system settings, which is, which is shown in, which is, uh, which is very much available on the central administrator portal. Your SharePoint administrator will have an access to it and probably he'll be able to set it up for you. So he would require an um, outgoing email settings and a mobile account, obviously to set out the SMS feature. And once your email settings has been configured, you should be seeing this button on your, on your SharePoint list, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and gonna add, I'm gonna set up an alert for this particular site right so I click on alert me and I go to set alert on this list I click over there and then I go ahead and set up right so this is the alert title and obviously to whom I need to send out the alerts to uh, what's the delivery method it's an email or it's a text message now I don't have a text so you can set up as phone number here so it goes as an SMS you can also change the type, right? You can specify the type of changes that you need to be alerted to. So probably for all changes or for new items which has been created. So you can basically set up, set these up. And you can also set up for more, send alerts for these changes, right? You can also restrict the alerts to include the items that is shown in a particular view. You can also set up when it has to be sent probably if you want to send it as soon as possible or probably as a daily summary or a weekly summary you can set up the time frame timings right so I'm gonna go ahead and set up one of the alerts so I'm gonna call this as yeah obviously it's discussions and I'm gonna add some alerts for other users so I just have to go ahead and click on different names also I can select the department as well so i have different departments so i can click on them as well so people who belong to this particular department so they'll be get notified so that's one good feature i have i can also have the email so this is the user that i use it's, it's ben and then i can select if it's new items or existing items get modified or all the changes right so i'm just gonna click on all changes anything changes so for anyone is gonna change a post from other users as well, right? So I can do that as well. I'm gonna click on OK. All right, so I have my alert set up. Okay, great. So I received a notification already. And I can go and check I can also manage my alerts right so probably if I have a change in mind I can go ahead always always I can go ahead and change my 
alert. So I have an alert creator over here. So I just have to click over there and then edit the settings. It's as simple as that. So whatever changes that I have, everything actually comes over here. So I'm going to click on, yeah. So I hope you've noticed there's a, yeah, that's a notification bar. So I get an email notification, email notification saying that, okay, I have created an alert for this particular department and whatever changes I happen to have in this particular portal, I always get an email notification saying that, okay, if a file has been added or a file has been deleted or a file has been modified, which is a very, very essential tool for SharePoint so that you keep track of your latest documents or existing documents. And that's it. So thank you very much for watching this video and I'll be coming out with more and more videos in the coming days. So stay tuned to our channel. Also feel free to contact us at info at mydoc365.com for further queries. I would be happy to assist you. Thank you and have a great day.